Hello guys, so I was having a very interesting CPU overload problem since uh, a couple months but I was working on a film project so I couldn't fix it. I didn't want to restore my computer. I didn't have much time for it. Since I finished my project, uh, I've started to search that what is the reason that my CPUs are getting overload but I'm working with this computer since over three years and I know what are the limits of my computer. So uh, in that project load, it shouldn't be overloading. So uh, I start searching that what is the reason that why my computer is just keep overloading. But first, I'm assuming that you have already optimized your project settings by checking the sample rate uh, or anything, freezing your tracks, etc. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, in the description a link but this video for those who have already tried everything including restoring your um, operating system or downgrading so what I have found uh, during two weeks of research is that your CPU problem can occur just because of the heat uh, of your computer so Apple wants their computers to work in silent as much as possible. Also the interior design uh, to make these devices smaller, the interior design isn't extremely efficient to cool down your CPUs. When we are working, the CPUs are getting extremely hot. Your cooling system uh, isn't sufficient enough to cool your CPUs. So what the thermal throttling does is that it just cuts the voltage which goes to your CPUs, reduces your uh, processing power to prevent them to reach in critical heats. So your computer is actually causing you an overload because it just reduced your processing power. But you cannot just upgrade the cooling system in these devices. Uh, I mean, you could upgrade your cooling system in your desktop, but you cannot just upgrade it if, if it's a MacBook or a notebook. So there are three things that you could do. So there is a website called ifixit.com. I, I'm going to put the link below. Uh, so just check it. So you just have to open the back case of your MacBook, uh, if it's an Apple device, you have to open inside and clean it. That's the first thing that you should do, especially if you're using your computer over one year uh, or one and a half. It doesn't matter. It depends on the what kind of environment that you're using your computer. But uh, I would strongly advise you to use uh, something like this. This is a compressed air spray can. I think I bought this one for four euros. I think it. There is a lot of sensitive tiny tiny cables inside of your computer So it's better if you don't touch them at all So just this is just a comp this is just a compressed air it just blows and compressed air um, So just use something like this and it's very efficient to get rid of the dust inside your computer and the second thing that you should do is that since you already open inside of your computer uh, buy something like this it's called uh, arctic silver 5 it is a thermal compound uh, which you put it on your cpu it makes a nice contact with your heat sink um, what heat sink does is that uh, with the help of this guy it takes the heat from your cpu and it transfers to heat to those fans uh, and that's how your CPU is getting cooled. So buy a nice one. Uh, you don't have to buy this one. There is a lot of good um, thermal compounds. Uh, I'm really not good with these stuff. So just do your research and buy one that fits you. As I already told that Apple wants their devices remain silent as long as possible. Which means that uh, the fans or start working uh, quite late. What I suggest is that download an application called uh, Fan Control or Mac Fan Customizer, whatever, just try to find one uh, and customize your fan temperature level. This will help you 
to keep your computer as cool as possible. Like, I mean, the fans, if, if the fans are working, it means that your computer is trying to cool itself, right? And try to make them start as early as possible uh, in temperature wise. Doing these three steps uh, solved my CPU overload problem. And I've tested it with two ways. First, I did a Cinebench and I increased my Cinebench mark like over 150 points. This is too much, I'm telling you. You can improve your CPU power like around 50%, 40%, depends on how dirty was your computer. And the second thing what I have done is that there was a Logic Pro project and I was keep getting a system overload and now when I play back that uh, project, it just don't overload. I hope this video will help you to solve your problem. I mean, it solved mine, maybe also it will solve your problem. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask it. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Have a good day.